Thanks so much for stopping by today. It's real nice to see you. Welcome to this episode of Barlow Barbecue. Today, I'm grilling up some lamb loin chops, which is something we have not tried yet on this channel. And I'm sure there are some of you watching right now who have never even tried lamb before. And I'm hoping that uh, this video may inspire you to go try some out. All right, so here are the lamb loin chops that I'm gonna be cooking up today. As you can see, they're a little smaller than your normal lamb chops. And since these are a little smaller, I figured the Weber Jumbo Joe is gonna be perfect to grill these up on. Now, before I start cooking, if you've never tried lamb before, you're out at the grocery store, you're gonna notice that lamb comes from one of three different places. You've got Australia, New Zealand, and America. In New Zealand and Australia, the lamb is typically smaller and they are raised on a grass only diet. So lamb from New Zealand and Australia is gonna be a little bit leaner, a little bit more gamier tasting, maybe a little harder to cook because it doesn't have all that fat, which can be forgiving. On the other hand, lamb from America tends to be bigger in size. They are grass fed as well, but the last 30 days up until they're slaughtered, they feed them grain, so they get a little bit more fat. It's a little easier to cook, not quite as gamey tasting. This cook is gonna be really, really easy. Don't need a lot of gadgets. I've got a meat thermometer here. I'm gonna grill these until they hit an internal temp of 125 to 130. Then I'm gonna take them off the grill, let them rest for about five to 10 minutes. And during that rest, that internal temp is gonna to continue to raise, putting us right near around 135, which is our target temperature to finish these at. Of course, you're gonna need some tongs right here to move these chops around on the grill with and uh, some tin foil for when we take them off the grill and let them rest. We'll just cover them in a little bit of tin foil, but that's really all we need for today's cook. I'm gonna season these up with a little bit of salt and pepper and maybe some rosemary or something like that just to get some nice herbal essence in there, but you can season your lamb loin chops however you like. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and fire up this Jumbo Joe and that should be ready in about 10 to 15 minutes. And when that's ready, I'll meet you back here and we'll get these lamb loin chops cooking. All right, the charcoal is ready for the Jumbo Joe. Let me go ahead and dump that in there. Now we are gonna be grilling the lamb over direct heat today. And I put my charcoal in this little basket right here. This is actually called a slow and sear. And I'll have a link down below in the description box for you to pick one up if you don't have one. And if you don't have one, no problem. Just dump your charcoal and spread it you know, evenly across the bottom and just cook your chops right over that direct heat. So we got the grill ready to go. The lamb loin chops are ready to go as well. I've got those seasoned up. These aren't gonna take long at, all, long at all. So once I get them going, it shouldn't take more than 10 minutes. We'll see, I've never done it before. So we're gonna find out together. So let me just go ahead and get these on here. Boom, there we go. All right, these have been going for about a minute on one side. Let's flip them over. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Those are looking really good. Let's give them another minute on that side. Oh yeah, it's smelling good out here already, folks. Let's flip these over. It's been about a minute on that side so we can give these another flip. Even up some of the searing on these. This one could use better. I'll just flip that over there. Get a little bit longer. This one needs a little work. Well, let's go ahead and take a temp, see where we're, where we're at here. One about 110. It's about the same 110. So we're getting close. Like I said, I'm going to try to pull these around 125. To 130. Let's give this another. There it goes. That's looking better. These are looking good. Not really any exact science to this. You're just grilling. Turn them over when you think you should turn them over. Just don't go too far because they're not going to take very long to cook. Let's see how these are doing here. About 126, that can come off. Let's check this out. 
133 that's out of there this one i'm going to say is definitely done i'm going to put a little bit of foil over top of these and let them rest for about five minutes so without any further ado let's give this a try hmm what we got now that is real good I think it overshot my temp just by a little bit, but it's still nice and tender, not dried out at all, which is really good. And really, like if you've never tried lamb before, seriously, you gotta try it out. Don't be afraid of it. Don't be afraid to try something new. It's only food. So that's gonna do it for today's video. I really appreciate you coming by and hanging out. It's always great spending time with you. I love you. And until next time, smoke them if you got them. Bye-bye. <laughs>